Coach Greenley, tough match tonight with Kent State. 21-12, uh, they, uh, they take the grudge match trophy back. First off, Coach, is the grudge match, do you like the idea? Is it a good thing for wrestling? Yeah, it was kind of my idea. I thought it was a great, you know, I think it's good. I, I think, you know, if we, if our guys are into it, their guys, I think, are into it. If you can get the crowds into it or, you know, the, your fans into it, uh, it'll be a great thing for wrestling. We, we had a better, we had as good a crowd here as Kent State did. Yeah, you guys, I, I, I tweeted that out. Is this going to basically be a home duel? And it was, you know, Cody Walters has just a huge following of people. And uh, he, first off, he's fun to watch. The guy just wins. Yeah. He's a junkyard dog. Um, but you had some matches tonight. Let's talk about the matches. You guys are beat up, first off. Squire's not in for you. Powell's not in for you. Forder had hand surgery. So you got you got some guys who are who are danged up. There's no question about it. You don't have an 84 punter. You have one. I like him. He fights Andrew Romanchik. But he didn't wrestle like he did in Reno and other places I've seen him wrestle tonight. Yeah, I, you know, I think he got, he got set on his heels a little bit. He was in the match and then... You know, got taken down and, and, and scored on, and then uh, you know it was just a just a dog fight from there, and it, it didn't work out for him. You know, I look at a guy like that. You know, we talked about this in Reno, having a guy who would just go from 57 to 84. Do you see something like that much, Joel? No, you see guys go up one weight or two, but not 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 generally three. But you know, we had a guy we had a guy uh, get hurt, and he, he's our best option, and that's. Uh, uh, you know, to his credit, he just wants to get in there and wrestle. So, you know, he he's he's in there and wrestling. He's I think he's seven and seven and three maybe at eighty four, and he's doing well. He's doing real well. He won yeah. four matches in Reno. Yeah. Uh, you know, I look at Taiwan Claxton. He's absolutely on fire. You know, Diploma beats him here uh, for third and fourth at the MAC, and it didn't look like that was the result. You know, you know tonight it looked like I think he had that. You know, he's got a chip on his shoulder. We've talked about that. But he really takes it to the Palma tonight. I think with him, it's a mindset. Um, you know, I think uh, we got to tell him he's the, he's the hunter every time, not the hunted. Uh, and and he and he feels good about that. And uh, you know, we we worked hard this last week, and I think he's changed his mindset, and uh, I think he's going to do a great job the rest of the year. Will we see you know Kayvon back at 25? Uh, will we see, uh, you know, 33, will Squire be back? 41 is for Ryder done, is for Ryder done, is, he, is Noah four done? Four Ryder, we're going to try to get him a medical red shirt. I saw a hand, you know, he's yeah. got like a, uh, he's got a piece of metal sticking out of his hand. Yeah, he had surgery, so he's pretty much done for the rest of the year. Uh, hopefully we see Powell back, hopefully we see Kagan back. You know, you know how it is, I mean, you can't make guarantees about any of those things. They're, they're hurt, they're hurt. Uh, you know, but really, we're we're three and four deep at those weights right now because we got so many guys hurt. You know, I look at uh, heavyweight. You know, it, it's a big difference from last year, Joel. I mean, and that that guy scraps. Oh guy, yeah, he, he went out and scrapped great uh, yeah. elbow passes. Real hard to get a hold of. Elusive, fought hard. Um, wasn't sure about what was going on in the third period. Is he just not confident on the mat? Why does he choose neutral? Well, yeah, he's not that confident on the mat. I think. Nemo is decent on top. Uh, our best chance to win is on our feet, uh, you know. So we're just going to try to put him in the in the position and his, to give him the best chance to win, and that was on his feet. Looking at you guys at 57 and 65 tonight, you know, 65, he just didn't look like Perry Hightower to me. And, and you know, credit to Buck Walter who wrestled a great, you know, great scramble he wins in the first period. But Harry just didn't look like Harry tonight. You know, Sparty runs into Ian. That's a tough match up for him. But what you know, what does what are those? I think those guys are both eight through twelve guys. In my eyes, I think those are guys who can be on the podium. What are those guys got to do to be ready? You know, use something like this as a building experience. Uh, in Sparty's case, I think you know lesson learned. He gets away with a lot of a lot of stuff he shouldn't do. And uh, I know what he was trying to do. He gets away with it a lot in the practice room. He gets away with it a lot in, in against lesser quality guys. Ian Miller's big and strong and pretty freaking tough. And it wasn't going to work against him, obviously. And then Hightower's just got to, he's got to get it in his mind every time he's going to go out, he's going to outwork somebody. You know, I, you know, through my eyes, uh, I think we outworked him at 65, and every time we we got frustrated because they slowed us down, uh, we stood around and then something happened to us. Well, hey, you got to be willing to, to be in a dogfight for seven minutes, not six and a half, not five, not four, not, you know, and, and you got to, you know, he gets a takedown in the first period or he gets one takedown, it's a different match. 
That's that's what we told him last year. That's what we've told him so far this year. You got to go out and freaking really want it. Phil lost a couple of times to Baxter when they were freshmen. Now Phil has completely put, you know, he put a, a ton of gap between him and Baxter. Now it looks like the gap has closed a little bit. Or is Phil riding that thing, that funk that he was in for Reno? Well, Phil had the flu, and we were thinking about not wrestling him tonight, but uh, and my two cents worth is he needed to go out and figure out he can beat a good guy and not feel good. Uh, you know, and I think he did that. I'm super proud of him. You know, he, I don't think he wanted to go out there. Uh, but he went out there and he hung in there and he, and he beat a guy that, that I think is a quality guy. And, and uh, you know, he did it, did it without wrestling and having the flu. So, um, yeah, I don't know what you can take away from that. Man, maybe back just closed the gap a little bit. I mean, I think we've, we've done some things. Uh, we've done some things that have helped us out against him, too. I mean, in the past, he's, you know, we didn't want to take down against him. We got away twice and probably less than 20 seconds both times. So, uh, you know, I, I think that's a little in our favor as well. So I, I don't know what to take of that one. I, you know, again, uh, it was one of those matches. I think, man, we really took it to them. They, they didn't do a whole heck of a lot. Uh, you know, and sometimes that's, it's hard to wrestle a guy like that. How tough is Cody, Cody Walters? Pretty tough. He's like just a legit, scrappy, mean guy that wants to win. I think he's getting better and better. Yeah, you know, I mean, I think, uh, you know, a, a year ago he wants to win by one, two, whatever. Just win, win, just win. That's kind of his motto. And now I think he's getting better and better. And he's, he's working a little bit harder. He's taking some chances. And we've had some long conversations in the last month about how to do that. And I think a little bit of it is... As good as he is, he's just got to get more confidence as well. Blaze Butler beat Logan Storley. I know Cody Walters is right in the, the level of, of, of Blaze Butler. Uh, what has he got to do to put himself in the Storley, Brown, Evans, Kokish conversation? Believe it. You know, uh, he had a terrible year last year. You know, and not, I don't even, that's not even fair to say. You know, he had a pretty, for him, for him, I think. Well, that's... It's wrong to say. I mean, he had a good year. He, he fought through a lot of adversity and went to the national tournament and won a lot of matches and, and, and was a MAC champion. And uh, That's not a terrible year. Exactly. Now you put it that way. Exactly. You, you, but you look at it the year before, man, he was an All-American. You really wanted to build on that. So he had a rough year personally as far as being hurt and all, all that. So I think that might have set him back a little confidence-wise. And now he's really building on that, kind of coming into his own and, and, uh, and, and getting pretty dang tough. What do you guys got to do to be competitive in the, you know, the MAC tournament and, and down the stretch here with these remaining duels? Well, we got to have to have everybody wrestle. I mean, you, you know, I think uh, uh, against Central, we had some guys wrestle pretty good and other guys not. Well, we had some guys wrestle pretty good tonight and other guys not. And it hasn't been the same guys wrestling good and the same guys wrestling bad. We need to get them all on the, on the same page. And, and wrestling good at the same time. And we've got, we've got uh, Eastern Michigan coming up tomorrow. I think it's a pretty goddamn good team. I think we're, Northern Illinois is a pretty good team. And I think uh, Buffalo is much improved. So we, we better uh, uh, lick our wounds a little bit and be ready to go for Sunday. Are you at Eastern next? Yeah. All right. Is that, are you going right back? Are you you going right to Eastern? We'll stay here and go into Eastern, yeah. All right. All right, Coach. You got anything else for me? No. Hey, thanks for the time. And uh, you might see me in some, uh, some Ohio U uh, gear here uh, coming up. I, I get a lot of flack for all the I Oregon see, State all gear. All I see is Oregon State gear all the time. Well, the Zaleski Meister takes care of me, Coach. All right. Well, <laughs> he makes a lot more money than we do at Ohio, so. <laughs> Thanks for the time, Coach. All right. Thank you.